Mary, the mother of Jesus, embodies the whole history of motherhood in the Bible. She's a new Eve. She's the one who gives birth to the conquering seed, the Christ, the one who's going to crush the serpent's head. She's a new Sarah. She's a new Rebecca. She's a new Rachel. Uh, she's not a barren woman, but she's a virgin. And the birth of her child is a miracle birth. But Mary surpasses all the miracle mothers of Israel's history. The barren women of Israel's history bear because of a miracle. God opens the womb, but they have, a, they have human husbands who bear the child. Mary doesn't. Mary's child has only one father, the Heavenly Father. Mary is overshadowed by the Spirit in a way that none of the women of the Old Testament were. As the glory cloud overshadowed the tabernacle, Mary becomes a tabernacle and bears the Holy One of Israel within her own womb. The church has determined that Mary is Theotokos. She is the God-bearing one. She doesn't just, she doesn't just give birth to the human nature of the Christ, but she gives birth to the God-man. The Son goes through the entirety of a human story, from conception, through birth, through growth, through death, through resurrection. Mary is the mother of Jesus, and therefore she is the mother of all of Jesus' brothers and sisters. Uh, she is the mother of all the living. Give thanks for Mary, the mother of Jesus, the new Eve, during this Advent season.